Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I, have, I love the opportunity to get to come in and speak with you. And so I have a message that I believe God has given to me entitled, A Sacrificial Praise to the Lord. You know, there's times in our lives when we feel like we're at our lowest point. And I want to talk to the people today that are struggling, feeling as though you're at your lowest point. I want to talk to you uh, as, a, as a Christian to Christian, saying God knows where you're at today. He understands those feelings, but he has a way out for you today. If you'll stay with me, let's listen. First, I want to look at the word sacrifice. My title is Sacrificial Praise to the Lord, so let's look at the word sacrifice. Sacrifice is something that we have been that we have that from like our heart that we would give and it has value to us and we would give it to someone. And usually it comes from a very short supply. We don't have a lot of it. So we are sacrificing what we have to give to someone else. How about offerings of praise? Can we bring offerings of praise and are they the same as sacrifice of praise? I think they're exact opposites. You see, an offering of praise is usually out of the abundance of our heart. Maybe we're overflowing with joy. God has just met all of our needs and we're saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we're bubbling over with joy. It's an offering of praise, but a sacrifice of praise, a very different praise. And that, uh, I want you to understand that praise soon leads to joy, whether we give it as an offering or as a sacrifice. Praise will bring you into a spirit of joy and strength. Have you ever walked into church on a Sunday morning with a heavy, heavy heart and you're burdened down, but you think, I'll just, I will get out of this house and I'm going to go to church and I'll, I'll leave all my troubles right here and I'll go get into the church, the house of God today. That's where I need to be. So we get dressed, we go and we drive to church, we get out and lo well and behold, there's greeters there. How are you today? Come on in and we hug them and we welcome them. And you're thinking, I don't feel like telling you anything. I came to get away and I don't have enough strength inside of me to hardly even shake your hand. But we do it. We put on a certain face and we shake their hand and we say, thank you. And we go and we sit down. Hopefully we made it through all the greeters and we sit down. And then the song leader gets up and he says, let's stand today and everybody worship the Lord. <sighs> You're thinking, I don't have that kind of strength inside of me, but I'm here, so I'll stand with the rest of them. And I stand and I wait until all the song service is finished. Now I'm going to sit down. After all, I came today to hear the word of God. So I sit and the minister gets up to begin to give the service. And suddenly back to my mind floods all the problems that I just left the house with. I thought I could get away just for a little while. But no, sitting here while the minister is speaking, my mind in the quiet stillness of the church begins to flood with all the things, the problems that have weighted me down. So once again, I'm sitting in church and I feel as though I can't even hardly breathe. I'm so distraught over what's going on. Those are the ones I'm talking to today. And you know, I have a feeling that I'm talking to more than one. I have a feeling that I'm talking to several today. But if that is you, please stay with me and let's hear more. You know, David wrote a prayer to be read over the people. And I want to read that today over you. And it's found in Psalms chapter 20, verses 1 through 9. It's a prayer like a blessing over the people. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help 
from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. And in verse six, now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save, Lord. May the King answer us when we call. Is this your day of trouble? David says, the God of Jacob will defend you. God hears your heart's desires. Do not, he, all he wants us to do is just take it to him. He will fulfill it. He will meet your heart's desires today. If we'll choose to rejoice in him. Oh, but we just said that was hard. Well, I have something I want to share with you on that in a moment. Proclaim to everyone around us that even in the time of trouble, David says, you go ahead and tell them that you trust in God and he will defend you. Trust him today. He will carry you through. There are some that put their trust in horses and in chariots. What's that mean? I see that as horses being our possessions and chariots being the government. We either put our trust in what we think we have or what we think the government will give us. David said both will fail us and I believe they will. So we don't want to put our trust in what we think we possess and we don't want to put our trust in the government. We do live in this world, but our trust is in the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. As we trust the Lord, joy comes to us in our mourning. Psalms 30 verses 1 through 5. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted up and lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O oh Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. Do you need healing today? Cry out to the Lord. O oh Lord, you brought my soul up from the grave. You have kept me alive that I may not go down to the pit. Has the Lord saved you today? Praise him for that. Sing praise to the Lord, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. You know, David said, weeping may last all night long, but hold on. Joy will come in the morning. Now, David has written truth for us to hold on to today. Some of us are going through so much difficulty, so much in our life right now that we can barely breathe. But David says, I want to send you a word of encouragement. God will defend you. The God of Jacob will come through for you. Trust him. Yes, there are times when that pain and that weeping goes all, seems like it's all night long. But if we'll trust him, God will meet you in the morning and he'll turn your praise into joy. I want to share with you a personal example. One day I was driving home and I had faced something that was so terrible that I just couldn't hardly deal with it. I felt I was at my lowest point of my life. In fact, I felt like I could barely breathe. I felt like I had burdens upon both shoulders, too heavy for me to carry. And I was trying to drive home with tears coming here. And suddenly the Lord spoke to my spirit and he said, I want you to bring me a sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. I said, Lord, I can't sing that song to you. I don't even have breath to talk. 
much less to sing. And I was trying to drive home and I was, I don't know when I've ever been that sad. The reason isn't important, but the emotions are because all of you can, for, for different reasons, can have the same emotions. And the Lord said, where is the temple of the Lord? Well, he knew that I knew the answer and I said, it's inside of me. You, Lord, are inside of me. He said, bring me a sacrifice. Remember, a sacrifice is something we don't have much of. And I said, Lord, I can't sing to you, but I love you, Lord, but I can't sing to you. He said, bring me a sacrifice. And so I took what breath I felt I could muster up. And I said, I, I bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And he said, do it again. And I said, I bring the sacrifice. And I get, went on and he said, do it again. And then I found I could do it stronger. And I said, I bring the sacrifice of praise. And he said, again. And I said, I bring the sacrifice of praise. And then he said, again. And I said, I bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And I got so excited I could barely drive home. I would, nothing had changed, folks, nothing. But suddenly I was revived, and suddenly I had strength, and suddenly I had joy with all the sadness and all the sorrow that had weighted me down still in existence. Nothing out there had changed, but I had changed because you know what I did? I learned something that day. God wants us to bring to him what we have the least of. The sacrifice that he accepts is what we have the least of. That's a true sacrifice. What did I have the least of? Joy, contentment. I didn't have any of that. I was weighted down. I could barely breathe. As many of you would identify today, you could barely breathe. Bring him a sacrifice of praise today into the temple of the Lord. Bring to him today a sacrifice of, Lord, I love you. Lord, I praise you. And watch what God will do for a burdened spirit today. Now, if you're one of those that's uh, rejoicing today because of the abundance, praise him, praise him, praise him. If you're on the bottom, praise him and he will bring to you what you need at your lowest point today. Thank you for joining me. We hope you've enjoyed Fresh Manna for today with Evangelist Dee Levins. For more teaching from Dee, read Echoes from God, a Christian study book for growing deep and strong in the faith. Connect with Dee and purchase her book at dlevins.com.